What's up guys? This is not really a, a too in-depth video about what I eat um, too much, but I was in the middle of cooking and I was like, why have I not shared this video with anyone about what I'm currently eating? So it's cooking right here, and I basically eat this three or four times a day. The only thing I do is switch up the sauces. I could do an in-depth video of me cooking it if needed, but I pretty much just show you guys what it is and how I do it like this, okay? Now, you can see here what I got is I have ground chicken, okay, mixed vegetables, and some rice. Now, I told you guys this in my previous videos, I don't know if you're new to the channel, but I had some kitchen recommendations, things that I must have in the kitchen. And one of them, let me just put the lid on here, one of them was this rice cooker here, okay? So what I do is I'll put my rice in there for the day. Usually for me, um, especially right now, I'll do 300 grams of rice, which is around 200 something uh, carbohydrates. And I'm gonna split that into four sections, so that way it's four different meals. So it's kinda like, uh, almost like a cup of rice for each meal. After I do that, it'll be sitting there waiting for me, I grab it when I need to. Every time I make a meal, I start off by using a coconut spray, all right? <clears throat> and then I put in eight ounces of ground chicken. Ground chicken is just the easiest to measure. And I also gotta, uh, also gotta make sure I'm cooking this properly. Cause I don't wanna burn my shit. So what I do is I make sure I put in eight ounces of chicken every single time, right? Uh, which is around 50 grams of protein, four meals, that's 200 grams of protein. And then after I do that, the chicken's cooking. I have a, a steamer right here, right? What I'll do is I'll steam 200 grams of vegetables. Uh, sometimes it's green beans, sometimes it's kale. Right now I got a mix of vegetable medley going on. When that's done steaming, I pour it in with the chicken, okay? And I start adding the seasoning. Now there are multiple seasonings you can use. Some, this is one of my favorite. Right now, in this particular batch, I've got this, you can see it, I don't know, it's a teriyaki sauce, but this sriracha is unbelievable. If you add this sriracha with the coconut, it tastes like coconut sriracha fried rice. And I know I told you guys uh, previously that I was gonna do a video on coconut sriracha fried rice, and I haven't. So, I mean, obviously, obviously that's my fault. But, back to where I was. We put in the seasoning on top of the vegetables, on top of the chicken. And then when that's all cooked and starting to soak up, I throw in the rice. Now throwing in the rice is when I start to fry it. Now you gotta understand the rice is already cooked. This tripod's falling apart. I apologize for this makeshift uh, video here. It just it dawned on me that I'm cooking all the time. Why not just post this? Everyone wants to know about meals. But all you do is you throw that rice in the pan, stir it up, really fry it up. I kind of like to watch it absorb the flavor, get a little bit of brown crisp on it. What's very important is you do not, let me mix this up. You cannot have a crappy pan. This is a really good non-stick pan. And the worst thing is when your rice sticks to your pan. Now something that's important is not use an olive oil based nonstick or an olive oil pan spray. It causes, um, for some reason, I'm actually gonna add some teriyaki sauce. It causes a film layer, it causes like a film layer to go over a little more sauce and it kind of ruins the non-stick because it creates its own layer on top the coconut oil doesn't have that problem which is why I use it and why I love it but the two main sauces some a teriyaki I enjoy and sriracha is definitely the best sriracha has like no calories in it um, if you're not worried about your fat intake your macros are all set you can add in actual coconut oil with the sriracha and fry the chicken in the coconut oil and I'm telling
telling you, it's, it's delicious. So, this is really, this is it, my meal's all set. This is gonna be my pre-workout meal today. Um, pre, it'll be my pre-workout meal. And what I like to do is I have these pasta bowls, right? They're like pasta serving bowls. So it's not like a normal bowl, obviously, and it's not a plate, but it really goes well with these rice bowls. And I'm a huge fan of these rice bowls. Eating these four times a day is something I do not get sick of. And if you do start to get sick of it, what I recommend is just switching up the sauces. It switches up the whole thing, switch up the vegetables a little bit. But it's really hard to get sick of this, and it's an excellent dieting food if um, you just make the numbers fit into your macros. It's very low in fat, high in carbohydrate. Nah, I mean moderate, it's like 50 grams of carbs. And 50 grams of protein. You got your fiber in there from the vegetables. Um, this pan is the one I absolutely love. Like I just left, left that rice in there when I went to go to the camera. And it's awesome, it's Copper Chef. Uh, you know what, maybe I'll put a link. Hold on, this, maybe I'll do a screenshot like this. Maybe I'll put a link into uh, the description because you can get this on Amazon. And it's an unbelievable pan. So far it's my favorite one. Make sure you don't cook higher than medium. Don't use olive oil, don't use Pam spray. Uh, use more of like a coconut oil or coconut oil spray. For some reason it doesn't make that sticky layer on top. Favorite sriracha sauce. A teriyaki sauce. And you know what else I like even better than the teriyaki? which I didn't use today. What is this, hoisin sauce? I don't know, you see that? Hoisin sauce, I don't know, it's kind of blurry. Hoisin sauce, now that is a really good sauce. I mean, the sauce just switches it all up. Now my advice to you guys, if you're trying to bulk and add more calories and try to eat something that really digests well, Please do not add beans. Beans and rice are awesome, especially with meat. It's good for you, beans are healthy. The issue is beans take so long to digest because of all that fiber. Uh, I tried to do it with beans and I was just way too full for too long. The mixed vegetables go down pretty well. Uh, sometimes I throw kale in there, broccoli with the teriyaki is good. Green beans are good. Um, with a fried rice, especially sriracha fried rice, I personally enjoy mixed vegetables. And uh, man, my mouth's watering for this. Look at that. I just eat it with a big ass spoon. But it's delicious. You guys can do it any way you want. For a while I was doing a chipotle seasoning for the chicken and um, it turned out to taste kind of like chipotle. The reason why I use ground chicken, it's easier to measure when you're, you're cooking it and it cooks very fast. So I take out like eight ounces, weigh it out perfectly. Let me show you how good this looks. Look at that. I just eat it with a big ass spoon. I'll just eat that meal around three to four times a day depending. Now, usually I have like a raw smoothie throughout the day with kale, spinach. I'll probably make a video on that. Uh, I haven't done one in a while. That changes from time to time. But this is my meal I'm going to enjoy. I don't think I left anything out really. I love the rice cooker, you said it and forget it. Uh, rice is always made for you sitting there. Obviously you saw in my rice cooker there's no rice left because I made a little extra last night. I will be making probably one or two more batches. But this is meal three to four times a day for me. Uh, it's very simple, digests quickly. Another thing is that if you want to get some good quality chicken breast, I don't know if you guys have a fresh market near you. Look at steam flying up. Maybe this should be the screenshot. What do you think? Anyways, sorry about that. Um, if you guys have a fresh market around you, I would go there because the ground chicken breast is only three ninety nine a pound, antibiotic free. It's good. I hate getting regular chicken breast because sometimes it's spongy, tastes like shit. I have to cut it up with uh, the, the sears. So the shears, what the hell am I talking about? The shears. Um, 
to make it really thin to cook faster and to taste good and to mix it in my rice. Ground chicken the way to go. You can do ground turkey, you can do ground beef. The thing I found out is uh, the ground turkey doesn't taste as good with all these seasonings, these toppings. It's hard to find one that really matches the taste of the turkey. You could probably do like a taco style. That's the only one I found that works really well with like ground cumin and stuff like that. Like taco, any kind of taco seasoning, it works really well with uh, ground turkey. Ground beef works pretty much almost with anything. Uh, sriracha ground beef isn't as good as the chicken. Buffalo ground beef isn't as good as buffalo chicken, obviously. You can do teriyaki and stuff like that. The only issue with the ground beef, it takes a little longer to digest. At least for me. Uh, so when I eat that stuff, it's like I might be full for like an extra, you know, three hours <sighs> over this one or whatever. It's, it, it, obviously, I'm going to go into a rant, a ramble. Um, it doesn't matter how many meals you eat a day, you know, um, but the thing is, is that for me to get the amount of protein in and the amount of carbohydrates and to feel good, it's easier for me to space it out. So this meal is like filling for me, but not overly filling where I end up like passing out and way too tired to do anything. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Why am I walking in here? I get to eat. I'm out of my mind, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Short one, showing you what I eat. Um, and I hope you try some of that stuff out. I hope it works for you. If you guys want more stuff, maybe more in depth, watch me actually cook it. Nothing sophisticated. Ah. But let me know. I'm gonna enjoy this. Let me taste it first. Mmm. I don't know how you could get sick of that. All right, guys. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna work out. Today for me is lower body day with arms. So legs and arms today. Later.